Travis, we've just had two excellent days targeting these fish here out of Key West. The tarpon fish in deep water, fishing that afternoon outgoing tide. It's just been incredible. Uh, tell me a little bit more about what's going on, why these fish are staged up. You know, there's a bite window that we look for and basically that's when the fish come back from the spawn. So we're kind of new moon, May, offshore on the reef or on a wreck somewhere and they're moving back in and we're just basically hitting them when they come back in to feed. So yesterday we went up and picked up the 24 Murata from Isla Mater Boatworks in Isla Murata and drove it all the way down to Key West. And we just covered 55 miles of some of the best, most iconic tarpon waters in the lower keys. And we saw what, a total of two tarpon? On the beach, yeah. On the beach. On the beach. The channel we had probably half a dozen I saw from the tower, but they're definitely doing the deal right now. Yeah, so I mean that, that presents a challenging time to be down here targeting these tarpon, but you get on these few little isolated pods of fish that are willing to feed, they're holding in a look, you know, obviously a different pattern than most people are accustomed to. And you find that throwing these big plastics kind of like improves your game or the ability to target those fish. Well, the bottom line is you got to do what they're doing. And, uh, you know, throwing hoagies at them offers a couple different things. Number one, you're busy. Number two, you get to present baits to fish probably 10 times more than you do if you're just throwing a live bait. And it's something different. They haven't seen you know, 5,000 pinfish in a day with everybody else motoring on. Plus, you can stay back from the fish and not motor on top of them. We can make long casts, hit the right angle on them, and get multiple shots at the same group of fish versus starting up wind and throwing baits out and drifting right over them so your shadow hits them and they are aware of you being there, which kind of turns them off, you know. Part of the deal with the hoagies that allows us to make presentation without spooking fish from long distance. I know, that's been key. I've noticed that with all the boat pressure that's out there, being able to throw a bait a legitimate 50 yards is really improving our chances to get hooked up on those fish that are just holding, you know, out of that live bait casting distance. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It kind of goes back to those bass fishing roots, slinging baits. Right here we've got the swimming jig from Hoagie. It's a two ounce version and the tarpon special. The skirt in front of the bait adds a nice bulkier profile to push more water, kind of get noticed when the water's a little bit dingy. And uh, again, that black tail is super effective on these lower keys fish. We also had some good bites on bone and uh, bubble gum as well. But if you had to go with the standard, black is really the way to start and be confident. And the presentation we're using is almost as simple as it gets. We're doing a quick, steady retrieve right across the fish, kind of coming across at an angle. And it seems to be the most effective way. Track time is most important. They need to be able to track it long enough to decide that it's not something that we're throwing at them. Mm -hmm. And that's usually 10 to 12 feet. Yeah. So if they can track a bait for 10 to 12 feet without it doing anything erratic or crazy, they're going to eat it. They like to feel sneaky and they get that whole prehistoric predatory response following that bait. And it's excellent for clients and people that are new to tarpon fishing because in reality it's not that technical of a retrieve. Ah, that's the greatest thing about it. All you're doing is trying to just get a speed to where when they come up on it they can track behind it, decide they're going to kill it and eat it. Or at, you know, if we're bringing it back at like a pretty steady cadence mm -hmm. and you see a fish behind it you can accelerate away from them and force that reaction strike to, to make them eat it.